Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee Fuge, and in this video today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this really cool hand-built guitar from Carl at Long Bottom Guitars. This is the Long Bottom T60. So Long Bottom Guitars are a new brand on my radar. I've only recently met up with Carl for the first time. Uh, we've been speaking on Instagram for a couple of months now, and he was looking for someone to demo some of his guitars. So here we go. There's gonna be a few videos in this series, so if you haven't already checked out the other videos I've done for the Long Bottom stuff, there'll be some links in the top corner. This is the T16. So on the outside, this looks like a T-Star guitar, but there's a few little tweaks, which is some interesting things that Carl does and his kind of philosophy behind guitar building that we're gonna explore. Before we dig too deep into that, I do have to say I am getting paid for this video. I'm not keeping this guitar, this guitar is going back to Carl, but I have been paid for making this video, but that has not impacted my thoughts or opinions in any way. So let's get stuck into this thing. So the T16, the name, first of all, for the keen rally fans out there, the T16 is named after Carl's well, some of Carl's favorite rally cars. He basically names his guitars after things that he's passionate about. So this is named after the Peugeot 205 T16. I believe I've got that right. Carl will probably correct me. I don't know a great deal about cars. But on the outset, this looks like a telly style. So what is different to a conventional telly? Well, first of all, it's completely hollow. So this is one thing that Carl does exceptionally well, is he designs guitars which on the outset look like typical classic guitars, but they tend to be fully hollow. So this guitar is actually incredibly lightweight. It's so light that you could literally hold it with one hand. Uh, you know, the only weight in this is the neck, really. So the body of this thing, as you'll see here in the close-up camera, is completely hollowed out Carina. So it's, like I said, very lightweight. It's all one piece. So the back and sides are all one piece of hollowed out Carina. The top is a single piece of swamp ash. There's a nice subtle flame on that swamp ash as well that you can kind of see in the close-up cam there. It's not really doing the guitar a huge amount of justice because it's very reflective in the light. But there is a flame you can see coming through the black stain. The nitro finish on top is very shiny, but it's very, very well applied. I get the feeling this would age really nicely, so if you took this out and started playing it, it would probably beat up quite nicely as well. On top of the guitar, we've got a pair of Radio Shop ID Tele pickups. These are like their increased dynamic pickups, so they're like your conventional vintage Tele style with just a bit more headroom. 
The bridge is an aged Goto bridge, which is very nice. It's your typical ashtray style telly bridge with the brass saddles, which I think is an essential component to any great telly. Uh, I'm not sure what the switch is, but I know these are CTS pots and he's got some oil and paper capacitors in there as well and a true tone jack on the side there as well coming up now to the neck we've got a 25 and a half inch scale so for all the existing tele players out there you're not going to feel any sort of discomfort playing this thing we've got an indian rosewood fretboard there with jess cart fret wire the radius on this is actually seven and a quarter at the nut and it goes to 12 at the bridge so it's a compound radius but more on the vintage end of things which is really interesting because usually the compound radiuses that i've found uh, tend to start like 9 to 12 up to like 16 so it's very flat and very fast but Carl has intentionally gone more the vintage way here so it's seven and a quarter right up to 12 at the bridge Indian rosewood like I said fretboard uh, we've got mother of pearl dot inlays and this is a really nice part of the neck we've got a roasted flamed maple neck now if you look at the flame on that again it's quite hard to see in the camera because it's a dark roast but there is an incredible flame on there on the end, you've got the Goto vintage style tuners on Carl's custom headstock shape with a bone nut as well. One thing that is really interesting is the way the neck is joined to the body. So with this being a T-style guitar, obviously we've got a bolt on neck. You wouldn't expect any less, but if you look very closely, the actual neck heel of the body is a lot thinner than you'd usually expect on a telly and the neck heel of the bolt-on neck is actually a lot thicker. So what Carl has done here is what he calls a deep heel. So these screws go really deep into the neck, which actually improves the connection between the neck and the body, which therefore increases the sustain. Because we're losing body mass by this being completely hollow. So Carl is making up for that body mass by giving a real tight, really secure neck heel. So yeah, those screws go right into the neck, which is slightly thicker at the top end, pulling it right into the body, giving you the maximum connection between the body and the neck wood. And on the topic of the aged hardware, even the neck plate and the string ferrules on the back are also aged. And also the strap buttons as well. The strap buttons are slightly aged too, for good measure. So this is definitely a really cool, really high spec guitar. With it being a telly as well, obviously we'd normally expect a slab style body, but Carl has gone one further and added some custom comfort cuts here. So we've got the Strat style armrest and the belly cut on the back. So this is a very, very comfortable guitar to play, both sitting and standing up. So now we're gonna get to the fun bit. We're gonna hear how a fully hollow Karina bodied Telecaster style guitar sounds with a Swamp Ash top. So I've got this plugged straight into the Blackstar Studio 10 6L6, which is behind me over there. That is mic'd up today with a Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser microphone and the reverb that you're hearing is coming from the Surfy Industries Surfy Bear Classic Spring Reverb Tank. Uh, I've also got the Cherry Tone Centura, which is a clone style pedal on for a sort of clean boost that's on consistently right now. I will also be stacking on some drive pedals later on in the video as well, but for now I'm just going to play completely clean so you can hear how this sounds. And I should also mention, which I didn't mention in the specs part, this guitar has a three-way switch. Typical of a telly style, in the down position, it's the bridge pickup. In the middle, it's both. And in the up position, it's just the neck pickup. So here's how this sounds completely clean.
you'd expect from a T-style guitar, there's plenty of sort of sharp attack. There are lots of twang. These Radio Shop pickups are great for that. They really do that sort of twangy, telly vibe, but with a little bit more sort of hi-fi clarity about them. So I've kicked on some overdrive now. I've got the low gain side of my Analog Man King of Tone. So same thing again, I'm just gonna play with the three different pickup positions and hear how it sounds. <laughs> definitely handle gain quite well. Again, it's a telly, it's super versatile. The hollow body actually adds a nice kind of upper chime in the room that you don't get from a traditional telly. A traditional telly is kind of very bitey and aggressive, very kind of upper mid-range heavy. This almost sounds a little bit sparkly to my ears in the room. Uh, perhaps it's just an EQ thing in the room that I'm in, but it definitely has something that differentiates it from a traditional telly style. The hollow Karina body gives a slight different depth to the tone as well. It's not something like a typical Swamp Bash body that you'd usually get on a telly. So this is definitely a bit of a different beast. Now I've cranked the gain now. I've stacked the high gain side of the Analog Man King of Tone with the low gain side. So we're gonna bump the gain up now and see how this thing handles that. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there you go, there is the Longbottom T16. What a cool guitar, this sounds great, clean. Love those kind of sparkly, sort of twangy telly tones. These Radio Shop pickups are great. This is actually my first time playing Radio Shop telly pickups as well. So what a fantastic guitar to try those pickups in. But yeah, I'm very, very impressed with this guitar. The incredible attention to detail that Carl has put into this is just second to none. I think he's gonna be a big name on the UK builder scene soon, so please keep a watch out for the stuff that Carl is doing. There are some links down below in the description to the Long Bottom Guitar website and social media pages where you guys can go check these things out. These aren't cheap, these are custom guitars, they are handmade. You can expect to pay a good price for them, but these are fantastic instruments. So yeah, this is incredibly high quality. It plays great, it sounds great, it feels fantastic. I'm really taken by this thing. Uh, I don't really want to give this thing back. So yeah, this is super, super cool. So yeah, please go give these guys some, some love and some attention. There are some links down below where you can find out more about them. And also let me know what you guys thought of the sound of this thing. How do you think a fully hollow tally guitar sounds compared to what your sort of, you know, what your conventional idea of a tele star guitar is. I think the hollowed out classic idea is great because there are plenty of vintage sounding tellies and strats which are just too heavy to play for long periods of time. I think Carl is really entering an interesting part of the market here by putting his own twist on this with them being fully hollow and it is completely hollow as well which is really cool. Like I said this is incredibly light but it's still super resonant even with the volume off. very very loud so yeah definitely one to watch out for let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this guitar and also don't forget to check out the other videos on the channel featuring some of carl's other guitars as well while you're down there don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and i will see you guys very soon thanks so much for watching